Wow! It's the 2019 Ford F-250 Lariat with FX4 off-road package. Hold on. You want to hear something? Let's try this out. Oh, 6.7 liter power stroke diesel. We can't leave that out. That's definitely an important part of today's review. So, we're gonna be checking it out. We're gonna be taking a look at the exterior, the interior, under the hood, the undercarriage, the area where you throw everything in the back of, and also the lighting on this truck. You know, folks, this really is the ultimate American truck. When you think of driving something tough, beautiful, big, can get the job done, most Americans nowadays are thinking about the F-250. Let's go ahead and get started. So a few notable mentions in the beginning of this review today, I want you to pay attention. I am a man that is six foot one, 215 pounds. That's gonna be an important thing to know when we get on the interior of the truck. But before we do, we are gonna gracefully walk through the exterior of the F-250. I'm gonna show it to you, because I'm telling you right now, I have been so excited about Ford trucks. I called a friend yesterday on the phone, my friend Ryan. He's been a Chevy guy for the last 20 years. I mean, I remember riding around in his Chevy Silverado back in the 2000s with the big 20 inch wheels. He had it lowered down. It was a beautiful truck in blue. Almost a shade of this blue here. And we love that Chevy truck. But Ryan told me yesterday, he said, Chad, my favorite truck right now is the F-250, the new one. I said, you know what, buddy? I'm making a video. Let's get started. And that's what we're gonna do. So Ryan, if you're watching, I hope you enjoy this. So to start things out today, we're gonna take a look right at this front end here, right? Super duty, nice and bold up on your hood. A massive Ford emblem that's bigger than a man's hand with the camera. You have sensors in the front and then the headlights, all LED. One time I made a comment and said, you know, these headlights look like they're about $1,000 a piece. And then I actually went in the parts department and looked, and yes, they are almost $1,000 per headlight. It's a lot going on there, right? But they're the best headlights on a truck that I've ever seen. And I can tell you right now, Ford, Dodge, Ram, Chevrolet, Toyota, any of these truck brands, they cannot compete with those headlights right there on the F-250. Now, I put Ford in the mix by accident, but again, Chevy, Ram, Toyota, they can't compete with these headlights right here. Promise you that, hands down, promise you that. Anyways, let's have a little fun, right? That's what I'm trying to do. So hopefully y'all are laughing a little bit and enjoying what we're talking about. Let's start moving a little closer and let's go ahead and take a look at the rims and the tires on the F-250. So our rims and tires, our tires are Michelin. They're a 275, 65 series tire wrapped onto a beautiful chrome 20 inch rim. You also do have eight lug on here. So when you're getting up there to the F-250 size, we're bumping it up to eight lugs instead of six lug. Pretty sweet. So that is definitely what I like to call a long wheel base from front rim to the back rim. It's nice and long, better ride quality. And what else does it do for you? Well, a long wheel base vehicle gives you more interior cargo space and definitely a lot more room in the back to get all the stuff in you need to do. So it's big. You also got the running boards or running rails or however you want to call them down there on the side. Those are not retractable, so they stay in place right there 24 seven. The Power Stroke 6.7 liter logo with the Lariat F-250 logo on the side makes a bold statement. But what else makes more nice bold statements? Those mirrors on the side of the truck. They're big, they also extend out. They're also all power and they do have LED lights in there and blind spot monitoring system for safety. Now I've always loved the rear end on an F-250. It just looks good, doesn't it? Man, it's just as pretty as the front end. It's those taillights, that's what it is. Look how they look, you know? 
they very three-dimensional looking. That's because they are three-dimensional. <laughs> and I love the FX4 off-road sticker on the back tailgate or the back fender here. That looks nice as well. It kind of stands out. It's a bold font, and I love how they've really given it some nice colors and a three-dimensional look even on a sticker. Pretty sweet. So a few things we got going on back here is right up top there there's a backup camera and then we have a led light back there to shine when the vehicle's in reverse when you need to do that also you have backup sensors in the bumper down here so they'll beep at you and all that and show you some stuff on the camera display on the inside so you make sure you don't bump into anything and then down on the bottom here you do have your trailering package right there so you can get that uh, trailer out there that boat jet ski uh, whatever it is you know whatever you need to put on the back you can do it anyways i'm gonna show you a few more things right now while i'm thinking about it so the truck is running i've already done the remote start on it now i don't know if this feature is necessarily going to work while the truck is in remote start but we're going to try let's go ahead and unlock okay and let's hit this two times this is a power tailgate feature well looky there so that's pretty nice right check that out that thing just boom went right on down so that's another great feature that you're getting now some people say what do you need a power tailgate for well i'll tell you why you need a power tailgate because it's nice to have and you can say i got a power tailgate y'all that's what it's all about so if you don't get that part of it when you have the tailgate out there at the carolina game at, with the gamecocks and you do that and the other guys don't have that you feeling good having that power tailgate but there is some nice things about it i mean it makes life a little easier where you don't have to drop it down all the time you're walking up get your stuff to load in just hit the button do that also back here you do have your oh just let's don't kick the tripod we also have our step system right here push that button that step comes out, a pole will pop up like that, and life just got a little easier for you to get into the back of the truck. Pretty simple to put back in, just do that. Grab here, push that, and boola, it's right there. No other truck in America right now has a step system like that to get in the back of their tailgate promise you that even the 2019 silverado 1500 new body style it's got a little bit bigger spot to put your foot from previous models but it don't have technology like that now in the rear if you can see this let me go ahead and zoom in a little bit and get focused there we go you got your fifth wheel hookups already set up in there so you don't have to do any drilling or anything like that just pop those things off and hook right on in right you also have things on the right hand and the left hand side to be able to tie down stuff so it doesn't move all around and you have led lights back here as you can see right there and there's a button right there to cut them on now chevrolet just added that on their 2019 silverado 1500 series the new body style how do i know these things well i just got done reviewing it yesterday so i'm all knowledgeable now on both of these trucks but here's one thing i'll tell you what chevy didn't do they didn't put a button back there for it so you got to go into the cabin that does not make it easy ford again putting a button out here to cut those lights on makes it nice so you don't have to go in the truck and cut all the lights on thank you ford for making life just a little bit simpler a few other features you got going on in the back of this truck here is you got a window that actually opens and closes there is a small spot right there where that window can open and close and uh, it's pretty slick how it does it i mean it pretty much slides right into that other window it's almost like a double pane kind of thing going on there so that's really nice then up top here you do have a camera up there by that third brake light so you can see everything going on back here when you're traveling down the road because again it's important to be able to look every once in a while and see if stuff's flying around and moving around or or if the dog is actually wagging its tail all right everybody now one thing everybody wants to know when they're car or truck shopping is what the pricing is on a truck like this i'm gonna break it down for you real simple and sweet 2019 f250 fx4 diesel motor lariat ooh wee this thing is loaded right Seventy-seven thousand thirty-five dollars. that is msrp that is retail from the manufacturer okay we got a 45 we got a 45 47 discount basically four thousand five hundred forty seven dollars Brings us down to 98 over invoice at $72,488. $500 less, less rebate you got going on already on a 2019. That brings your price down to $71,988. So that is a pretty large incentive there already on a 2019. That's how we do it at Ravenel Ford. Do you understand what I'm saying? A guy called up the dealership yesterday from Arizona and said to our internet guy, I've been looking online trying to find a dealership to buy a Ford F-250, I think it was, or maybe it was F-150 Platinum. 
He said, the reason why I want to buy it from y'all all the way from Arizona, he's like, I'll fly in and drive it home, all this, is because y'all are upfront on the pricing, you're already showing the discounts, and on top of that, there's no dealer admin fees, no dock fees, no processing fees, no dealer add-ons. Those are unnecessary fees that just don't need to be added in on a vehicle at a car dealership. You know, dealerships are doing those things, those dealer admin fees and processing fees and those dealer add-ons like first place finish, wax, and a spray that they spray on the leather and the carpet. They do that to make more dealer profit. You understand? I think about that. If a dealership sells uh, 100 cars a month times 12, add that up. I mean, really, do the math on that. 100 cars a month with a $399 dealer admin fee times 12. I'm going to put it on the screen right now. Let's add that up right here. Woo! That's a lot of money. That's all profit for a car dealer. They don't do it out here. So, with that being said, that sets us apart from every other dealership in the United States of America. If a guy's calling from Arizona talking about it, there's not a lot of dealerships not doing stuff like that. That's really incredible. All right, we got the hood popped. First thing I love, it's got a light under the hood. It's got an LED light. <laughs> no other truck brand's got it. Ram's got it, but they got a little halogen light under there. This is LED, y'all. I like it, okay? Because guess what? Some of us people still like to work on our trucks from time to time, and you might have to work on it at nighttime. All right, so what else we got? We got this beautiful engine. 6.7 liter. I'm glad there's no fans popping out and chopping my hands off, but there's your battery right over here. There's the air intake system and your turbos and another battery over here. So you got two batteries in total. I mean, there's a lot of gadgets, a lot of technology, and a lot of car here to keep powered up. So anyways, that's your motor. Let's have a listen. Sounds like a diesel. All right, is anybody ready to see the interior by now? I'm sure you are. Let's go ahead and do that. Well, first thing, we do got this little keypad here. Check that out. You know, that to me is old technology, but guess what? That's not old technology, because guess what? They still have it on the truck. <laughs> you can punch a code in. That's still a useful feature that's been around for 20 years with Ford now. I remember it on my mom's Lincoln Town Car back in the day. Boop, 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 boop. Mom, you left the key in the house. Get what I'm saying? Yeah. You do got power windows, power door locks, power mirrors. When I say power mirror, I mean power mirror. Look at this. That big old mirror moves. You want to extend it out if you got a fifth wheel on the sides, okay? Do not try to actually fold that thing in because I do believe it's actually fully powered. So um, that's nice to see. And what I'm talking about is this right here. Check this out. That's what I'm talking about, folks. Full power. You heard what I'm saying? You heard. Right. So don't ever tug on those mirrors unless you know it's just a manual mirror. And that's probably going to be like on an XLT, something like that. Um, you do have memory seats, which is nice to have. A lot of cubby hole space, component sets on your stereo, you got your mids here, you got your tweeters on the A pillar, a handle for some of y'all guys that still need to grab a handle to get in, including myself. You have 10 way power seat, including lumbar support, beautiful tan leather to go nicely with this blue exterior. I mean, that's the best color combination I think I've ever seen, the blue with the tan. And a gorgeous seat, also a cooled seat. I mean, I got them cooled off right now, I can feel the AC kind of blowing out. Also heated as well. Let's go ahead and hop in and see what we got going on. So this is the cream of the crop of interiors on trucks. I mean, this is nice. Look at it. Wow. Leather wrapped, all your buttons, features, and controls. Beautiful LCD screen back there. Another one right here. There's a lot of great features in here. It even has that B&O stereo system. Bang and Osifin. Wow. That's high dollar, folks. This is really, again, the creme de la creme, the cream of the crop of American trucks. Let's go pull this truck up towards the front and get a little more light in here so we can really get a good look at everything. All right, let's drive it up front and see what we got going on. You know, I really do like Ford trucks. And um, I mean, I like other trucks as well. I do like Chevys. But Ford just really has kind of instilled itself into my veins. And um, it's the way they drive, the way they look, the way they feel. I mean, this is just, it's nice. If I could have a truck today, like my dream truck, it would be this right here. I like the bigness of it. 
and um, I like sitting up a little higher off the ground and again it just looks so muscly right because you know hey I gotta accommodate for something here right I ain't got that much muscle going on so it'd be nice to have a truck that's kind of muscly you know you ever seen those little guys jumping out of the big jacked up trucks that's what I'm talking about so anyways let's pull it up front and uh, and we're gonna review it a little bit more and I gotta walk inside real quick and grab a bottle of water because I'm getting a little thirsty all right, everybody, we're back and we got in, in a nice parking spot here with a lot of sun. And uh, we'll let you kind of look around a little bit here. So, what we have on our steering wheel is these controls here to control that screen there. Also, we have volume and seek and all that right in here for the radio. Voice command, Bluetooth or phone, hang up, pick up, all that. Cut the volume off real quickly just by hitting that. Cruise control right over here. Your uh, lighting controls are right up in this area, fog lights, the back lights, the LEDs, your pedal assist is down here. Basically, you can have this pedal go out and in and up and, you know, just out and in, you know, depending on how tall you are. Power tailgate in the back right there, that button. Uh, normal e-brake is still right there for part brake. Um, mirrors, as you can see, you can cut these LED lights on on the mirrors out there at nighttime so you can see what's going on out that way right so that's pretty awesome then over on this side this is how you're switching from park to drive and all that so still got the shifter on the column not in this area here brake gain there four-wheel drive there start stop engine button there right yes then up here this is your screen let's uh, peel this off for just a moment and let me show you around hit the home button well, hit the home button. <laughs> Maybe not. Audio, climate, phone, nav, apps. You click on that. You can have stuff in there. You got settings right here. 911 assist. Great feature to have. General, mobile apps, navigation, sound, clock, Bluetooth, phone, swipe. Well, swipe. There we go. Wi-Fi hotspot built into the car. Valet mode, vehicle display, and voice control. So there you have that. Hit general. There may be some things in here like language. There's just English, Spanish, and French. No Russian. Why do I say that? Well, I've had a lot of people ask before. Is there Russian in the uh, vehicles here? And I got a neighbor down the road from me that's Russian. So, you know, maybe they'd like to have some Russian. Who knows? I don't see that happening though anytime soon. Um, one thing a lot of people have asked is, can you change the colors of the ambient lighting on the inside? Well, unfortunately, you used to be able to do that on the trucks, but for some reason, you can't do it anymore. So, I'm sorry to say that, but no, you cannot change the ambient colors on the interior lighting. Basically, like down in the cup holders here, if you can see that, that's an ambient light right there that kind of shines in there at nighttime. It looks really good, but it's just that, that whitish color that I think it is, or like an aqua color. Um, you can't change that at all. Um, you do uh, have a backup camera. Um, you don't have to put it in reverse access to camera. You can just click the camera button right there, and there you go. You got your cameras, right? And then there's different camera views, of course. Let's uh, Our camera's out of focus a little bit, so let's focus in. There we go. And you can look at the different camera views. There's that one. That one. More of a wide angle. There's that one. Looking down into the back of the truck, which I really like. And then you got an auxiliary right down there if you want to hook up a camera on the back of your trailer or something like that. So a lot of different options you got going on with your cameras. Let's go ahead and go back to the 360 view. Sweet. That's my favorite view though from just normal driving and backing into parking spots at the grocery store, at the mall, or at work and things like that. Okay, hit the camera button up here and it will cut it back to normal. Traction control, hill assist, and there's your caution light button there. Audio buttons are here. You got six different presets. Climate control down there. You know, some of the stuff will be displayed on the screen, like your fan speed, and I mean, you can click climate, and you can do it all right through there if you want to. Even had a heated steering wheel button there, but you can also do it down here. The heated steering wheel button, though, is only on the screen, so there's no extra button anywhere for that. You do have heated seats and cooled seats on driver passenger side, and again, it's dual climate. 12 volt, 110 volt, 400 watt max outlet, all right there in one spot. Very nice. Nice big vents to get a lot of air blown out there for. You. you got two glove boxes well technically one glove box with a lock and then a little storage area here to throw things in and you got that and there's a little kind of spot up there you can lock the uh, you can cut the passenger airbag on or off 
Again, you don't want any kids, 80 pounds or less, sitting in that seat. You may want to go in there and cut that airbag off. Cup holders are nice and big. As you can see, my Polar Pop cup is doing just fine in there. And uh, one thing I'll point out to you real quickly here, after we put this back on there to keep it having that new car look, um, and we'll hit the home button, is you can do this if you need four cup holders or just two. Storage, there is a hiding spot for your key right under here. Pretty sweet, right? So I've said it's a hiding spot. Yeah, to me, it could be a hiding spot, but technically that's not a hiding spot. Technically that's for the technicians to program the key fobs with the vehicle. So anyways, I just like to call it a hiding spot. It's kind of fun. Then you got this here and you got two USB ports there and then another storage spot down there. So not too bad. Not seeing any auxiliary ports in the vehicle, okay? Um, super big uh, armrest here. And cup holders there. Open this up. More storage here. And it's a lot of storage. And there's a 12 volt down there for you. I call that the drunk drawer. Like you got in your kitchen at your house. So that's nice. You can lock this up if you need to. If you want to keep a 9mm in there or a Glock or maybe a uh, maybe your checkbook or a Rolls or a uh, you know a Rolex watch or, or whatever you want to put in there that's valuable to you, you can lock it in there. Alright, up top here you got sunglass holders, pretty simple, pretty basic, just one. Um, you got some LED lights up here for your interior lighting. You got all your controls for your sunroofs, for your shade, and all that. Home link. There's your mirrors with your lights. You got it on both sides. You got this right here to keep debris from flying in. And then you got that massive panoramic roof that slides all the way back to there, okay? Now, it does not open up all the way up to, towards the back. I mean, where would the glass go if you did that? But it does open up to right there. So that's the maximum on that. And we're going to close it back up because that sun's coming in and beating right on top of my head. I mean, it's got a little bit of tint on it. You can tilt it up if you want to. And then your shade goes like this and what's nice about the shade is it really does pretty much deaden out any sunlight that could possibly come in so booyah i've seen some vehicles out there where this is kind of like a mesh material where you can't you can see through it it's translucent i don't like that i like to be able to block it out completely um let's go ahead and get in the back back there and take a look and see what's going on in the rear of the f-250 lariat so at the beginning of the video, I talked about my height and how much I weighed and all that. That's coming into play right about now while we've been doing the interior. As you can see, a guy my size is pretty comfortable sitting in that front seat. And I'm pretty sure I'll be comfortable sitting in this back seat. Now your back corner panel here, or door panel here, you got a lot of storage. You can store stuff here as well. It does kind of go through like that. More speakers there, more handles here. And then you got coat hangers up there and lights up there. There's your back seat, good looking seat, right? Oh yeah, this is nice. Um, back seats are not heated and they're not cooled, okay? Just a normal, good old back seat, right? You do got tablet iPad holders here, carpet floors, you got your rubber mats already in here, so you got all those all season mats that come pretty much with the truck when you buy it new. You also have a 12 volt there, you have rear air vents here, and you have rear air vents that aren't on almost on the floor like Chevy did. All right, Chevrolet, what is your problem with your engineers? Bring them up a little higher, folks. You got two USB ports right there, and then you got 110 volt, 400 watt max outlets. So you got two of these 400 watt max outlets, one in the front, one in the back. Thank you, Ford, for thinking about us folks that like charging things or plugging things in. Heck, you might even want to use your power drill back here, or at least charge it up. That's what I think they got in mind. But anyways, back seat looks good. You got a uh, you got a rear armrest here, and I'm talking about it is actually a armrest and not a cup rest. Chevrolet is giving us a cup rest in the back. This is an armrest where you rest your arms and not put your cups on top in place of your arms. Thank you, Ford, for doing that. Open that up. That's where your cups go. Okay, so that's a cup holder, and that's an armrest. Does anybody? Does everybody understand that? Can I get a show of hands? Do you understand what I'm saying? That would drive me nuts. Now, some people say, oh, man, dude, not a big deal. Well, maybe not a big deal, but guess what? You get back in here and drive from Charleston to Orlando or Charleston to North Carolina or Charleston to Somerville, and you tell me if you're sitting in the back if that doesn't get a little annoying. It will. Now, here's another thing I'm going to point out to you that's really nice on these trucks that Chevrolet just can't seem to get to doing on their, even their 2019s. This right here. This is nice. Again, this is really paying attention to the fine details thank you for 
engineers. As you can see, you could fold this down if you didn't want all this extra storage space, but God, right, who would not want all this extra storage space? But it's nice how you can fold this up and stop things from moving around. That's a lot of extra space when you do it like that. Again, the 2019 Silverado and the 2500 have no technology like this. It's just a floor, and if you throw your baseball bat down there after baseball practice, it's gonna roll all around in here. This is gonna keep everything pretty still. Thank you again to Ford for doing that. I love it. Very nice truck. Very nice. I don't have to sit in there, folks. I'm already gonna tell you right off the get-go, a guy that's six foot tall has got plenty of leg and headroom in here. I think y'all can get it. It's an F-250. That's it today for our F-250 Lariat FX4 review for 2019 at Ravenel Ford. We only usually do one video like this a year for the Ravenel Ford website. So if you're on their website right now watching this video, thank you for taking the time to do that. If you're on YouTube or Facebook or any social media platform, thank you. Please hit the like button, hit subscribe, hit the bell notification, and share the video out with family and friends. And the most important thing you could do, which a person did just two days ago or yesterday, is actually call the store and talk with them wherever you live. Let them know, hey, that guy that films those trucks out there is doing a great job. I really do appreciate it. I'd like to be around for many years to come still out here in the country at Ravenel Ford. So thank you for your time and God bless America and God bless Ford trucks. We'll see you soon, everybody. Have a great day.